Hey everyone, it's me Vanessa. I'm making a weekly update um, because I must. Um, I am going to be talking about creatine in a minute, um, but I want to talk about my weight. I am up one pound this week, so I'm at a high of 153 pounds, which is a given because I did do whatever I wanted this past weekend and I ate a lot more than I should have and I know it. Um, I just, I wanted a snack and I was snacking continually and I need to just get away from that, nip that in the bud, don't do it anymore because I'm gonna continue to gain if I keep this up. So my focus this week is going to be weight loss, straight up weight loss. So um, for the past two weeks, I have been enjoying a takeout uh, for lunch when I would go get my coffee and my donut. Um, this week, I'm not going to do that. So Friday is going to be an on-plan day other than just my donut. Um, I'm going to think about maybe a coffee, not sure. I probably won't. I'll just stick with my donut for my extra little treat um, and then focus on staying on track 100% the rest of the time on that day. And then Saturday and Sunday, I am not going to allow myself to snack every single hour. Uh, that's literally what I was doing this weekend and the weekend before is I would be finished with a snack and then an hour or two later, I would snack again. And so the whole day was not structured eating. It was just a lot of just random snacking. Um, and that is what's going to cause me to gain weight if I don't stop it. Um, so that's my focus this week is to get back into weight loss mode. Um, this weekend, I'm still going to allow treats here and there, and I'm going to allow myself to eat what I want, uh, but actual meals, not snacking. I'm gonna do healthy meals. I'm still gonna do fruits and vegetables. I need to, uh, because if I don't eat fruits and vegetables with the fiber, um, I eat all the time, or I want to eat all the time. And I don't wanna do that. I want to satisfy my hunger, but in a healthy way. And I need to focus on diet. Definitely this week is going to be 100% diet. I need to get back under 150. I was at 148 and 149 um, during the middle of the week and towards the end of the week. Uh, so I know I can get back to 150 and below. Um, I just, I, I don't wanna be here. I look the same. I don't look any different but I feel bloated. I feel kind of squishy and, and not fat, but I feel squishy. And I, and I don't like that feeling to where, you know, I have to pull up my pants because my stomach kind of feels like it's out there. Um, so my focus, like I said, is on diet. I'm gonna still do the five Ks and um, during the week, the mile and a half, I'm finishing week three I just finished week three of Transform 20. I'm gonna start week four this week and I only have three weeks left of that program. Um, and then I'm also continuing the second week of my weight training program for this month. Um, so everything's going really well in the exercise department, uh, just the eating. The eating this weekend has to be on point and it has to be to where I focus on weight loss. Now, I do wanna talk about creatine. Uh, this is something that this is from Universal, um, and then this is just creatine monohydrate. I just got that one. It's not a special one, just plain. For this tub for a month, it was, I think, $14, $13. This stuff is pretty cheap. It's not that expensive. Um, the research I've done says just get the creatine monohydrate. You don't need to get any special blend um, that goes into the body best. Um, just regular is is fine. Now, the dosage, it, it depends on what you want to achieve and how fast you want to achieve it. So I did this one for a month and I just wanted to try just the normal dosage. Um, I did five, it was five grams a day. Um, the very first day that I took it, I only did two tablets because it's four tablets is five grams. So I started with two tablets first to kind of see how I felt. It was really weird. It was kind of like, you know, you having coffee for the first time or um, like an energy drink for the first time where you just feel this like rush of energy. Um, that's how I felt when I first took these tablets. So I sat for a while and always take it with a carbohydrate. So I had it with my lunch and I had the two tablets and I felt good. I didn't feel like nauseous or anything like that. Like my stomach was giving me problems. So then I took the second two 
um, like an hour after, and then I continued with the five grams every single day. Now you can load it to where you do 20 to 25 grams a day for, for like a week, uh, five to seven days to kind of saturate the muscles with this um, because creatine is something that we get not naturally, we get it from our food. So we get it from beef, we can also get it from chicken and then um, seafood. So the thing with creatine, right, is it allows your body to produce ATP, which is your energy source. This is your anaerobic. This is the without oxygen, um, your sprints, your when you first start running, when you first start an exercise, that high burst of energy, that is what you need to help um, of producing ATP. And so creatine is just a way to help produce that. Now, a lot of people get a lot of creatine in their diet if they eat those three type of foods. Um, vegans and vegetarians obviously don't get creatine, so they sometimes need to supplement. Um, so I decided to try this because for one, I heard it was great for um, energy. So any type of uh, high intensity workouts, uh, weight training, it gives you that extra oomph. Um, to push harder and to push longer for your workouts. So that's why I wanted to try it. Um, I also was told that with this one, that there are really no si you know, bad side effects other than maybe a lot of thirst. Um, now, things that I've read are kind of conflicting. Um, some say that it does not cause dehydration. Other things say it does. So I was very careful whenever you take any type of creatine that you're taking it with plenty of water. Um, I noticed the very first few days where I wasn't getting in my normal um, 75 ounces of water a day, I was struggling and I felt dehydrated. Um, so I don't know. Me personally, I feel like you need the liquid, you need the hydration um, when taking this product. Um, it was very easy to take every single day. Like I said, you're supposed to be taking it with a carbohydrate so that it, um, it saturates your body and you digest it better. Um, so that's what they always recommend with a carbohydrate. So if you're having like a breakfast with a carb, whatever. Um, now, it doesn't really matter when you take it. Some say you should be taking it before and after a workout. Um, others say just take it at the same time every single day, especially if you're using the low dose. If you are loading, you're supposed to be taking it four times a day to build up, so five, it's five um, grams throughout the day, um, four times a day, um, where you take it like morning, then you take it before lunch, and then you take it after lunch, and then you take it at night. So that way you're spreading it out throughout the day for that five to seven days. Um, but I didn't want like that quick, you know, I, I didn't feel like I needed it right away because I was just taking it to kind of see if it even worked. Now for me, I did feel like it worked. I felt like I had a lot more energy and I did not tire as quickly as not taking it. So I would definitely take it again and I'm actually going to wait to start using it again when I can go to an actual gym um, to push more weight because I had to do my program like at an at home um, weight training program and I'm not able to lift as much, especially on my legs because my forearms cannot hold anything more than like a 35 um, dumbbell. So I'm like pushing maybe only 50 to 60 um, pounds on my legs when I'm doing squats or anything like that. So I'm not giving it the full benefit or the full potential that it deserves. So I'm going to actually wait to take it again when I'm able to start going to a gym, when those start opening again, and then I will let you guys know an update on how the other um, experiences like right now just home workouts with um i'm doing right now shanti workouts i did a, i did it some with 80 day obsession and it really helped make because those workouts are like an hour long so it, it allowed me to work through the whole program um the whole workout the hour workout and i felt good um, by the end i didn't feel as exhausted as without it so i do i do recommend it now this brand in particular, this is just the one that they had over in our store. Um, creatine is really hard to find over here. Uh, we are banned from ordering supplements, so I can't get them in the mail unless I buy them on the German economy. 
and they're more expensive there. So I decided to buy something that was in our uh, gas station, the Express over here in Germany. So that's what I stuck with. Um, now tablet to powder form, I haven't used a uh, powder form. Um, these are actual chewable tablets. So I don't know how it is to take a powder over the tablets. I liked these because they were like a citrus flavor. So they didn't taste bad, they didn't taste chalky. And I actually enjoyed, you know, like when you take those vitamin C tablets, how they taste kind of good. That's kind of how this tasted for me. So I enjoyed it. Um, my whole experience with it was good. Like I said, it really depends um, on what your goals are, you know? So just taking this product, I'm not going to magically build muscle um, because that's not the purpose. The purpose is for energy. This will allow me to push harder during my workout. So I have to actually do the work to gain the muscle. It just doesn't happen. And that goes with anything. You know, you, you have to push the weight uh, to build bigger muscles. Um, you just can't just eat something and then have it happen. That's just not the way it works. So I highly recommend it from my experience for this month. Now I was told that it can take four to eight weeks to get out of your body once I start take, once I stop taking it. Um, so we'll see how long that effect lasts. And if I really do notice a difference, I will keep you all posted on that. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely use it again. Um, and I will be using it again when I can start going to the gym. Now, next week, my plan is to do what I eat in a day. So I will be filming that this week, especially with the whole isolation quarantine thing going on, um, how I stay on track. And I can share how one of these weekend days will go for me too, if you guys are interested. Uh, to let you guys know how everything goes as far as my diet. Now, my goal, my main goal is to get back under 150 and to really stay under 150, um, not to go back up. So I, I'm, I'm not happy in the 150s. I'm just not happy. So I'm focused on, like I said, weight loss this week and I'm focused on taking care of myself. I am not gonna be one of those people who gain weight just because I'm stuck at home. <laughs> I will not allow it. That is not an excuse for me. I'm not going to allow myself to get there and I just won't do it, not at all. So I just wanted to keep you guys posted and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.